know if my research serves me correctly, you're from the southwest. I am, I was born and brought up in Somerset. So we're saying that then, to be a part of a story that celebrates not only the beauty of the southwest, but the people and the tradition, must be a real gift for you as an actor. I think it's always important, for me anyway, coming from around here, or you know, just a few miles up the road, to see us up on screen and not the stereotype of the Southwest people. You know, they're leaning on a, a five bar gate, chewing a bit of corn, going ooh ah ooh ah. We all know that's nonsense. And uh, what's nice is to put three dimensional, complex, interesting characters up there on the screen and also make some of them heroes because we don't see that enough. And the Southwest voice isn't heard enough. So, you know, like any bit of diversification, and that's what for us it's about. It's about putting us up there on the screen for the whole country to see. And talking about three dimensional characters, we obviously had the first film which was fabulous. Now, this, this film, sorry, we're getting a chance now to explore the characters a bit more and see a bit more of an arc of the characters. Was that something nice for you to get your teeth into? Yeah, I was very lucky. I got involved in the script really early on on this film and was able to talk about the kind of things that I'd like to see explored. And one of the things that happens with my character, Jim, is that he is fine. He's having difficulties with his mental health because his father died last year and he's finding that a difficult grieving process to get through, like a lot of blokes do. They don't talk about it. They, it sits heavily on their shoulders and when problems like that sit heavily on your shoulders things often squeak out sideways and you can start snapping at people and grumpy with your band, with your family members he hits the bottle a little bit but then he finds the love of a good woman and she teases thoughts and feelings out of him so by the time we get to the end of the film he's kind of on his way back to feeling good again What's really great as well, your character, he, if I remember from the film, he's, a, he's a, an alpha male. Yeah. So the fact that your character now is talking about mental health and being able to express that, do you think that that is a good sort of message really to, for other men who feel that they maybe can't express how they feel it, to show that they can? Yeah, for sure. And I think that that's one of the things. I talk about blokes because I think it really is, it's, it is about blokes, isn't it? Uh, which is a very particular kind of man who doesn't don't like talking about those kind of things, don't see it as manly talking about their feelings. Um, we talk in the film about how uh, you know kids, boys are, are told from a very early age to man up, don't cry like a girl, pull yourself together, keep your keep your tears at bay. And of course, what that means is when you do have an emotional crisis, which we all do at some point in our lives, later on we feel shame about showing those feelings. And that's where it starts getting bad for men because men uh, take their own lives at three times the rate of what the women do. And it's, that is, that's a massive mental health issue that we've got going on in this country. And I'm so happy to be able to put something like this up on the screen for blokes to go and see and go, yeah, well, if Jim Trevelyan can cry, then maybe so can I. <laughs> much James thank you for your time best of luck with the film ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is that yeah. from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you guys